What's up guys, Replays here, back with another video for you guys today. Today is an extra special video because today I'm going to be teaching you the fastest way to get Dark Matter. Since a lot of you guys are just hitting the game today, um, a lot of Christmas noobs out there, grind is real. Uh, I'm going to be having a lot of gameplays for you guys in the future, but that is not the topic for today's video. So I'm going to start with the first things first. The best game mode to play in, for all of these uh, challenges is to play hardcore free-for-all or hardcore domination it is the fastest way of doing it I promise you I've gotten them dark matter as you can see in my other videos it's good for all the categories and I would definitely recommend playing it before I move along to the actual categories I want to give you guys a few tips on pretty much most of the categories that will help first things first you need to make sure you have a launcher on every single one of your classes this is very beneficial because they will take the longest to do and you do not want to be having stuck like I did having the last ones you need to do it being the launchers which is terrible because you cannot control how fast it's done and it's just a pain in the ass to wait for that second thing I need a quick tip I need to tell you guys about is to use Varix 3 site and zoom into the second one that's where it's zoomed out and use the silencer that will help you get all of the long shots for when you do the challenges I wouldn't recommend doing that normally on your classes but just put that on there whenever you need to do the long shots uh, the first thing I'm gonna category I'm gonna start on is the SMGs uh, if I don't actually touch up on them they're just gonna be straightforward I don't have any tips for them it's just play a lot and get a lot of kills with them uh, so the SMGs I did have a few things to quick tips on some of the guns and the first gun I had a tip on was the Vesper it's a tad tricky because of the fire rate and the high recoil so aim more directly to the head and letting the enemy run into your bullets rather than chasing them because the accuracy is not very good on it and I would definitely try to be in the most most of the time in close range battles the Weevil it was actually the probably middle to hard range on these but it's low damage so that's why you should definitely play hardcore it's a one shot to the head in a, at a reasonable distance so just make sure you are aimed in I'd put a sight on it as we move along the rest of those are straightforward let's talk to the ARs the K94 is straightforward the XR2 is probably one of the easiest guns to get because it's burst I found that the burst weapon is easiest to get done because you just can control them way better and get headshots way easier uh, the HVK, however, was probably one of the hardest ones for me, so I'd aim for the head with the sight using the hardcore free for all strategy. The ICR Man of War, those are straightforward, but uh, however, the M8's easy because everyone uses it. It's the most, one of the most overpowered guns in the game, but I did skip the Shiva, which is probably one of the hardest ones in the category, and I would use high caliber grip on it. That's what I did for most of the assault rifles because. If you just post up at a place, like I'd say in the middle of the map where you're looking at their spawn, just post up and use a grip and high caliber, and that's the easiest way to knock them out. I knocked them out all of the assault rifles in one day doing that strategy. The LMGs I also knocked out in one day. Uh, it was probably one I didn't make a video on it because I just did it before I started up YouTube. The BRM and the 48 Dredge are super straightforward. The 48 Dredge being a burst weapon, super easy. The Dingo is also pretty straightforward. I would do that uh, posting up on a B flag in Domination or something like that. Or uh, just something like that where you're posted up and you can aim. You can just spray and pray with that. Just aim for the head. The Gorgon, however, is probably one of the hardest ones due to the fact that it has that slow ADS time. So I uh, wouldn't try spraying as much, try to just stay posted up and don't move as much uh, as you do with all the other guns. For the shotguns, the KRM and the Argus, those are the ones you got to get one shot kills with. I would use the, I would actually use Chaos Mosh Pit. I know I said use Hardcore Free For All and Hardcore Domination, but Chaos, Mo Chaos Mosh Pit is super good for your score per minute due to the fact you see enemies more than, than you do on other maps. So I definitely recommend doing that just for the fast one shot kills. I do all the challenges in Hardcore though. For the Brecci and the Haymaker, I would actually recommend doing Hardcore Domination due to the fact that you can just camp in their spawn. Not in their spawn, but in a building by their spawn. Let them come to you and just get pick them off with headshots as they come indoors or however you're posted up. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. The snipers, they're probably the easiest. Uh, I've used to snipe another Call of Duty, so they were pretty easy for me. I wouldn't use the barrack sight on these because you can get long shots because you have a great sight on them. For Dracon, definitely play hardcore, but if you like chaos, you can also do it in that, just not for the Dracon because it has a very low damage rate. For the pistols, uh, you should probably have your launchers done by the time you do all the primaries, so you should be left with pistols and combat knife. For the pistols, I'd play hardcore free for all because it in one shot kills for most of the RK5 and the MR6 because they're really low damage rate. The combat knife is the last one I need to talk about. It's probably the hardest one to do 
because of the super hard challenge at the end of it, it which is the five blood thirsties. I actually did them pretty easy though. I just had a lot of trouble on my last two, which really annoyed me. That's probably the hardest challenge you're gonna have to do, so just stay patient and stay motivated. Uh, that's gonna conclude my video for today, so make sure you guys stay tuned for other videos. I'm gonna try to post every other day. Don't forget I have a giveaway you guys should check out. I'll leave a link in the description. It's gonna be ending in the mid-January, beginning January. Peace out.